So my name is Dimitra Krishnan, MD of Volvo's construction equipment. So Volvo C completed 25 years in 2023 in India. And I can say that uh, while we came in here as a importer of equipment and selling, today I consider that we are a home player and we are a home, we see India as a home market. We have entire range of activities in India. We have an R&D team that develops products. We have a purchasing team, we have a manufacturing team, and we are also selling in India. So, and then we have both both our brands present, both the Volvo brand and the SDLG brand that we offer. Of the total products that we sell in India, 70% are manufactured in India, 30% we import and sell. They are generally the lower volume. From next year, we are also introducing a locally developed and locally manufactured SDLG machines. So SDLG wheel loaders that were being imported from China will start to be you know, localized from next year. So that will increase our number of units that we manufacture in the plant. And so for that, we have already made the investments for this purpose. When it comes to Indian market, I think the market is uh, quite vibrant and it has lots of possibilities. It's well regulated on the construction equipment vehicle side and where we have all the stage four offerings and then we are getting ready for stage five. So in that sense, a lot of that engineering work is done in India because they are compactors and, um, you know, and wheel loaders and all that. When it comes to excavators, our offering is very wide. We have excavators from 8 ton uh, to 95 ton, full range of excavators from Volvo. And we are very strong in the mining and the quarrying segment, but in the construction space, we need to strengthen. So our offerings for future will be to build, bring more products that can suit the infra construction segment. And that we will see in the coming one or two years. Uh, when it comes to um, sustainability, which is one of our core goals, uh, we are saying that we want to build the world we want to live in. We want to leave a, uh, the world in a, in a good developed stage without having much impact to the environment. So for that, in order to drive change, we are launching electric machines. So this time in XCON, our showcase is how electric machines can make a difference to end customers. So you will show, see that we have displayed eight machines out of which six are electric. Two of them are developed in India and developed and uh, technologically and produced in India. And the rest, some of them are being imported. But our intention is to showcase how electric machines are fairly easy to adopt to end customers. And uh, because it is an unknown area, uh, customers do not uh, want to go in. So we have also offered to customers electric machines using the service model, where the customer can pay per hour and use the machine without having to buy the machine. This is our aim to actually accelerate the electrification journey in this country. So that's what is happening. From Volvo C. Volvo C is working with hydrogen technology in two ways. One is the hydrogen based IC engines and the other is hydrogen fuel cell based products. Uh, we are developing them but those technologies are not mature enough for market introduction. Even though prototypes are there, we are working with them in different places but they are not ready for market market uh, launches and I think that's the same case with most of them. It's going to take three to four years for those technologies to mature before hydrogen can be considered as a viable alternative in the market. We believe that the battery electric is more mature technology and it is already being adopted and easier to implement and hence we are focusing on introducing battery electric and grid connected electric. So hydrogen will eventually come and uh, we'll see how the hydrogen ecosystem comes in. What is important for hydrogen is also to have green hydrogen available and that is still uh, some time away. How does Volvo Construction Yeah, so I think the equipment as a service model is one of such offerings that we started a year ago where customers can have full peace of mind and actually they take machines from us on a per hour basis and not worry about anything other than the machine running. The rest of it is our job. So per hour basis, that is something that we have been able to implement and we have delivered quite a few units uh, last year. We will be accelerating that for more in the future. On the services side, we have several offerings. I mean, as a uh, company, we have offered uh, telematic services, the toll, toll free beds, uh, calling system, you know, uh, repair and maintenance contracts. All of these have been our regular offerings to end customer. We continue to enhance and improve those offerings. And what's your output for 2024 considering it's an election year? Yeah. Do you see any apprehensions in Yeah, uh, of course, you know, if you historically see election years are a dip, typically between 15 to 20 percent drop in election year. But what is interesting for the Indian market is that this year, 23-24 will be the peak year. So we will reach about 125,000 units. If you take a 10 to 15 percent drop in a peak year, you will get back to the year which was last year, say 100,000 units, which is also not bad from a historical perspective. So I think, yes, there will be a slight drop in uh, the drop in the market and uh, particularly 24-25 uh, 
2024-25, we'll start with the election period. The first quarter will be weaker. But post that, I expect that it will pick up quite fast and it should be a very strong year because there's a lot of projects waiting to be implemented. Our belief is that by 2030, India market should be number two in the world, you know, after China. Today, US is number two. And I think the amount of infrastructure development that needs to happen in our country, it has to happen. It is not a, you know, it's only a matter of when, not if. We will see that and I'm quite sure that 2030 will watershed moment for us in India, Indian construction equipment industry. Why is the size matter? Size matters for the fact that investments and technology development starts to be more when you have the right size of the market. So hence, I would, we would say a lot of indigenization happening, a lot of companies setting up shop, a lot of components, manufacturers shifting shop to India. That will be the biggest difference by the time we reach 20. I think 2024, we are poised to see a market that is very um, attractive for the world because we will see global markets slowing down. While India will still be a reasonably strong market. I think it's an opportunity to seize. Um, I would particularly appeal to all component manufacturers to look for bringing new technology to India, whether it's in the area of hydraulic technology or track parts or other components like ECUs and all that. Because the Indian market needs to be a market where the content locally developed has to be higher. So we need to focus on that. Other than that, yes, we have to brace ourselves for a slightly slower year next year, but remain positive and continue investments for the future.